Hello students and welcome to this video. In today's lesson I will be talking to you about tricky noun plurals number two. In my previous video, tricky noun plurals number one, I talked about nouns that have a Y ending, how to make their plural form. But in this one we will talk about nouns that end in F or FE and how to make them plural. Nouns that end with an F or an FE follow no grammatical structure or rule. You just have to look at the examples and use a dictionary when necessary. The first example I have here, it says, the knives are in the left bottom drawer. We know that the singular form is knife. So it has an F-E ending. So we added V-E-S instead of F-E. B-E-S. Knives. The knives are in the left bottom drawer. All right, the next one says, it is cold outside. We should all wear scarves. Scarves. The singular form is scarf one scarf two scarves so we added ves at the end replacing the f the next one says they want to be sheriffs when they grow up they want to be sheriffs when they grow up the singular form is sheriff we simply added an S at the end. As I said, nouns that end with an F or an E, uh, I mean an FE, do not follow a particular rule or structure to become plural. The last one says, bigamy allows you to have two wives. Bigamy allows you to have two wives. Wife would be the singular form of the noun. So we just added V-E-S at the end to make it plural. As you see, sometimes you will be adding V-E-S and sometimes you will be adding simply an S when necessary. But you will need the help of a dictionary because as I told you, two times before um, it doesn't um, I mean nouns that end with F or FE do not follow a specific structure or rule well next I will give you some practice exercises I hope this video is of help and well thanks for watching now we are going to practice by making these tricky nouns into the plural form of these nouns. All right, the first one says, well, the first one is staff. Staff. Do you think we should add V-E-S or S? S only, staffs. Leaf. We take away the F and we add V-E-S. Thief. We take away the F and add V-E-S. Shelf. We take away the F <laughs> and again add V-E-S. Belief. What do you think about belief? You think it's beliefs? V-E-S? No, S. And this is why I tell you that they do not follow a particular grammatic structure or rules. Chef would be chefs. Why not chefs with V-E-S? Who knows? <laughs> because they don't follow a grammatic structure or rules. Well, next I will leave you some homework. Please do it because you need to practice in order to improve your English. Thank you for watching. I really hope this video is of use to you and of help. Um, I wish I could um, show you more examples, but 
we have limited time. So, thanks. All right, for homework, you're going to write four sentences using the plural form of F and EF ending nouns. Remember, if you have a workbook, do your homework in your workbook. And if you don't, leave your homework in the comment section below this video, along with any comment, suggestion, question, doubt you may have. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will really appreciate it if you want to leave some feedback for me. If you like this video or not, please let me know. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Would you like to watch my next video? Click on the television to the right. This lesson I will be talking to you about tricky noun plurals. This is the part three of this topic.